Hi folks, sorry for the lack of videos recently. I've been busy with the refurbishment upstairs. So I thought I'd just come on and just put a little quick video to say we'll be back very shortly. See you in a minute. Right, well, as you know, I want to get this TGB moped out of the way. So um, I've still got plenty to do on it, obviously. I've got to get the engine back in the frame. And one of the things that I had to find out was, uh, I welded this up, as you remember, and powder coated this in my last uh, video. And then the bar that come out of there, which bolts onto the front of the engine, had uh, been cut. So uh, I had to obviously find something else. You can't find anything online about that. So lucky enough, I had this stock rod and it fits absolutely perfectly, as you can see there, look through the holes there. So that's gonna go into the engine, and I'll have to probably cut that to size and make it with a threaded end on it, so, and put some nuts on it. But if, you, if I show you the front of the engine, look, if I can get down here and show you, if I can just lift that up there, you can see the two holes there. I hope you can see them, where it goes through that rod, look. And that's where the centre stand actually bolts onto. If I just put that through there, look. So that's got to be put through there. It's a perfect fit. And then that's got to be cut to length. And uh, obviously then have a uh, some sort of nut on the end of that. So that's coming up very, very shortly. That won't be today. The workshop, I can't turn it around and show you. The workshop is in the right tip at the moment. Because uh, as I say, all the stuff which we've had upstairs, the plumbing stuff and all that, I've had to bring down here now. I'm fitting the shower cubicle upstairs at the moment. That's what I'm in the process of doing. There is a little problem with the uh, uh, the hot water pressure. We've got what you call, which I didn't realise at the time, because I put a booster pump in the roof, but the shower mixer taps are not actually seeing the hot water flow. And they can't initiate the uh, little micro switch inside the booster pump because the pressure is so low. Our hot water, our house isn't sort of ideal because it was a, a bungalow with a house built onto the side of it and they didn't upgrade the plumbing. All they done was just add the plumbing on. So in the bungalow, our water tank is in the roof side of the lower part of the house and the immersion heater or the hot water tank rather is also in the lower part of the house. So we've got a shower and bathroom upstairs and that used to have an electric shower on there. So that was operated off a of mains pressure, but obviously it, was, it wasn't very good to have an electric shower up there. So we wanted sort of normal shower up there. So I thought I'd put a booster pump in and that should solve the problem. We got the, we got the cold water supply feed up there. That's not a problem to the mixer taps in the shower, but the hot water, because the shower head in there is higher than the actual water tank, we've got what we call a negative head situation. And although I've put a shower pump or a booster pump on the hot water cylinder, in the, in the ground floor part of the building. Because you turn the taps on upstairs, there's not enough pressure to activate the micro switches. So what I have to do, I have to, I have to get what you call a, a universal pump, now fitted to the hot water system. And that is for negative headed pressure systems. And what you get with the pump there is a little sort of cylinder with, with a, uh, like, like a little compressor basically. And what that does, it adds pressure to the system. So when you initially open the tap upstairs, that little cylinder, that little pressure vessel, pushes the water initially out and that operates the uh, little solenoid valve so that the, the pump should kick in. So I'm waiting for that to come. That's coming hopefully uh, tomorrow, hopefully. And we've also got the carpet person coming to lay all the carpet upstairs as well. So we're very near finishing upstairs at the moment, but you can see all that sort of stuff on Butler's Empire. I'll update you on Butler's Empire probably tomorrow on that one. But anyway, so yeah, the TGB moped, what have I still got to do with this? As I say, the center stand, before I put that on, that's got to go on. What else have I got? This engine bracket here, which I painted not so long back. Now, if I spin that round, just turn that engine round like that, that engine bracket goes on here. Uh, like that, and that holds the, I think it's a rear wheel actually. So is it that way up or? Yeah, it's gotta be that way up, isn't it? So I suppose I could actually put this on now. This is uh, the final part now of getting this engine back together. I've got to change the oil in the back part of this gearbox as well. So I'll be looking into that. So let's just get this off. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to actually seeing this thing fire up because I've never actually seen this thing fire up. When we bought this, we bought this as a non-runner and then we found all the issues with it, obviously. So uh, let me just get this tape off of here. Right, okay, that goes on this way, I think you'll find. So if I just put that through there like that, that should bolt onto here like this, I gather. 
Or is that upside down? I think that's got to go through the wheel spindle, isn't it? I'm not too sure. Oh, that's it, yeah. So that goes through there like that. So if I take that off of there like that... Again, I'll, I'll have to go and watch my own videos to find out exactly where bits go. If this is wrong, I'll have to take it off, but never mind. So I think that goes through there like that. There we go. Something like that. Oh, yeah, that's right, look. Like that. And then these two bolts, obviously, will go into there like that. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, as I say, there's no instructions here. I haven't got a manual for none of this. So we're playing a little bit by ear. And if I'm making myself look a fool on camera, then obviously I am. But uh, as I say, I thought I'd just come down and give you a little bit of content today. And because uh, you might have wondered where we've been or where we've gone. But we are here. We are very, very busy. That goes on like that, I'll take it. Yeah, that's it. Right, OK. I'll leave that loose for the moment because... Uh, I don't know whether or not I've got to take it back off again. So that's the engine part there. So now I'll have to make this rod up. But as I said, I'm not going to do that on this video. This is literally purely just a little update video. We're not too sure about the carburation on this yet. I think it's got a 53 main jet in this. That would be obviously for the 50cc restricted version. The exhaust pipe on this, as you can gather, this used to go up to some sort of restriction valve. So. I may just plug that off for the moment. I'm not going to cut that off at the moment because someone else might want to put it back on when I sell the bike or whatever. But I'll leave that on for the moment, but I will plug that off. As I say, that goes up to some sort of valve or whatever behind the bodywork via a flexible hose or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, getting very, very near there. This should be nearly... Next time we should do a proper video on this, I want to see this in the bike. So, as I say, I can't really show you over there. Well, I'll turn the camera around. You can see the state of my workshop, look. So... <laughs> Literally, it's like a bomb site in there at the moment. There's bits everywhere, and uh, I really need to get this sorted out. So I want to be uploading some more videos on my Retro Hacks channel. I've mentioned this before. Uh, we're going to be doing some more powder coating videos on there, and uh, I'm going to be trying to do lots of different things powder coating, see if we can powder coat many different types of things. So uh, if you're interested in the powder coating setup, uh, take a pop over to Retro, Re uh, Retro Hacks. Sorry. That's this channel here. Normally where I do all this work in this workshop and we're gonna be doing like powder coating things like glass, wood, uh, other things, unusual things, just to see how good the powder coating system is. As you know, I get my stuff from Electrostatic Magic here in the UK and uh, their suppliers, uh, they're very good at supplying the stuff. They get it to you straight away. As soon as you order it, it's there within a couple of days. And they got quite a, well, very good selection of colours and different uh, things which I haven't tried yet. They've got little sparkly additives you can put into the pow powders as well. So I may be giving them a go in the future. But that will all be on basically retro hex. All my stuff here is going to be sort of uh, restoring stuff like my projects or whatever. Well, I do use powder coating, as you can see, like I've powder coated that part. Turn that into a brand new part again, basically. So that's all coming up on retro hex. And the Butler's Empire video, we're going to be... Pr pr uh, primarily just showing our lifestyle sort of stuff, uh, things that we're doing around the house maybe, things that we're doing in our day-to-day -day life, things in the garden maybe, I don't know, we're not too sure yet. So they're gonna be more focused, the videos. So mostly powder coating stuff on retro hacks as opposed to the restoration stuff on uh, compiling a complete new playlist for that. All our restoration stuff, we've got all the cars, lawnmowers, bikes and stuff like that is gonna be on retro restore as it normally is. And Butler's Empire is going to be mostly family stuff and us having a little bit of a mess about and whatever and seeing what we get up to in our day-to-day -day life. Right, well, I know I've been waffling on in this video and I haven't really shown you anything, but um, I hope you understand. I've got to now go upstairs now and I've got to go and do, fit these shower doors. I've got to wait for the booster pump to come the, for the negative pressure which we've got in the house. That comes tomorrow. I've got to re-plumb that one in and uh, then hopefully everything should be okay. Everything else has gone smooth upstairs and... Uh, that's just the way it goes. You get these little problems come along, but um, lucky enough, I'm doing the work myself. That's why it's taken me extra long to have this job drag out, because I've been doing the plumbing, I've been doing the uh, uh, the electrical, I've been doing all this sort of tiling, I've been doing everything. All, all, everything's done for one per, all the clearing up as well. So if, as you're doing everything, you haven't got a mate there to help you. Sharon's been busy doing her own decoration. Plus, uh, we've had uh, Sharon's not been well for the last few days. She's all right now. She's near enough back to normal now. Uh, she was laid up, so I was I was being mummy. I was doing the cooking. I was looking after her and stuff like that. So all this has been going on as well. And uh, yeah, it's day-to-day -day life. Lucky enough, we're in a situation where we don't need things done by a certain time. So if things take a little bit longer, then so be it. That's the way it goes. Anyway, thanks very much. 
do hit the like button if you do like my videos and do check out if you've not been watching my videos recently or you haven't seen any of my other videos check out the playlist i put loads of playlists on my channel a lot of lawnmower restorations car restorations all the different things motorbike stuff like that which we've done in the past and uh might be interesting viewing for you and there's some good stuff in there as well i'll be i even watch my own videos <laughs> Some of them are very good because I'm updating all the metadata and stuff like that at the moment. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one very soon after we've done the bathroom. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>